So my dear, the little things that we think wouldn't matter or would not be enough. They're actually the main things that God is even asking of us. You don't wait until you have 100 million before you go to church or before you now extend hands of fellowship to the next neighbor you have and say, ah, God has blessed me with this. You to take this part. No, you don't wait until you, you, you become the richest man within your area before you be able to do that. It's just, it's just as simple as maybe you seeing one who, who is hungry and this person is telling you, man, I've not eaten since morning. And you know you have food in your house. You just go and fetch a plate and say, ah, my, my brother, thank God I have you. Share with me now. And you give the person. You've shown gratitude to God. First of all, you say, take, uh, God, thank God I have. You are thanking God that you have. That underlines the gratification. Have you not read in the scriptures or maybe you heard about a man, a certain man that beat his chest and say, yes, my soul rejoice because I have everything I want. Anything I want to eat, I have. Anything I want to drink, I have. Therefore, just make merry. There is nothing again that matters. For anything I want to in this life, I have them. And that night, God said, you foolish man. Your soul, I will tell you, belongs to me. He didn't say, ah, my soul rejoice in the Lord who has made these provisions. No, he was just saying, thank God. I said, no, he, rather he was saying, ah, my soul rejoice. I have this. I have that. I can do this. I will do this. I will enjoy this because I have them. I will make merry because I have them. Then they just, just humbly submit to the supremacy of God. That is all you need. And God will say, test me in little and see whether I will not do more. Just imagine the scriptures that we read. He said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. And then he will order your step. He is still going to order your act. There is a promise attached to you. What you do. Just, just tell me that I'm good. Tell me I have done something and I will do more. I will make sure you, 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 you don't miss it in life. And that is why most of us we have been missing our part. You hear that others are traveling abroad. You want to rush and go abroad. Have you asked God to order your path? Have you asked God to order your steps? We hear that people are buying motor, they are buying uh, camera. Is, is it camera that God wants for you? Maybe God is looking for the latest BMW Jeep for you. And he's saying, my son, just wait. My child, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. And I say, no, ah, this is my friend. No, ah, I have the money. Let me go. After I look at ah, this guy is fine. I, this other my friend just bought it and I like it. Let me, have you sought the face of God? And allow him, just thank him for his existence. Thank him for the gift he gave that person. And then allow him to order your path and know where he's taking you to. Very important. And so this morning I've come to charge us to always be grateful. In the so-called little things. That, in fact, you don't, you, 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 you don't have money to travel to a certain place and you know you want to travel but you have money to go to your office thank god first that you have that money to go to office and come back thank god that nothing happened to you on the road while you stepped out and you came in thank god that even in your home there was no what you may call uh, acute attack idiopathic in nature that nobody can explain it just happens Sometimes the people that come down with leukemia is not because they were originally exposed to a so-called precursor that we engineer that in them, but because just something somewhere just went wrong, mutagenic substitution or maybe whatever derangement it just happens, and then the, the their system began to produce these bad and lethargic cells that. Obviously, we now begin to haunt their lives. Not because anybody planned it. Have you thanked God enough? Yeah, your, your own case is that you are just having a headache. What of the people that do not have legs? Have you thanked God for the level you are you are already? You are praying, you are praying, you want you want to be moving in power, you want to be moving in glory. Fine, it's good. Thank God that you can even pray first. And then wait for that. That particular dimension of God to be released upon you. 
Don't get frustrated. Thank you so much. Um, I've come to submit here now to the supremacy of God and for allowing me to be able to pass out, to release this burden from within. I give God all the glory and I charge us to be grateful to God even in the so-called little that we have. So once again, the name is Max Rijo. Do well to share, comment and please, if you've not subscribed, do well to subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. God bless.